Hey, my G's. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo. I'm 27 and I'm working on my financial freedom journey. You guys, in this video, I'm going over some transactions because I got a little, little card happy. Okay, she been swiping. And we gotta, we gotta reconcile it or at least to the numbers that has made me such a disgrace to myself. <laughs> Hi, kid. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you so choose. Make sure you like this video. Go watch some other videos. Comment. I love when you guys chat with me below, um, so we can so we can talk it up. So I'm in my uh, budget planner. This is the older version. The newer version is available on paperbymo.com. Um, it has the uh, metal actual bindings. Let me go show you guys that real fast. So these are the new ones, um, 12 month budget planners. Each month has three paychecks in it with debt, with tra um, transactions for each paycheck, with sinking fund trackers, all of that. These are available on paperbymo.com. Make sure you guys go check that out. Also, I will be having a Black Friday sale and a 2023 savings tracker. Stay tuned because that will be coming up in the next YouTube video. So, like I said, um, I definitely have been, I've lost my mind, okay? The mind has been lost when it comes to this. Okay, so let's start off with, I'm definitely in the thousands with my credit card debt at the moment. She will be paying off some, but she will not be paying off all, okay? Let's just be honest, we're being transparent. We're friends, okay? We're cool, I can tell you. So, <laughs> um, I ended up having to go back to South Carolina. Um, if you don't know, I currently live in New Orleans. I was living in South Carolina. I had to go back to South Carolina because I had to get um, work done on my tooth. Now, you're probably like, why do you have to go back to South Carolina to get the work done on your tooth? Because the person who, I won't say messed it up, but I'll say who was dealing with that tooth was going to fix that tooth for free. So I had to go back to South Carolina to get that done. Now, mind you, my trips to South Carolina are not over because I still have, um, uh, Invisalign, which my orthodontist is in South Carolina. So I'm trying to get that situated. I don't live there. So I say that to say the rack is racking up. One, two, did I know I had to go to South Carolina? I did. I knew it. And did I plan for it? I did not. Here's the problem. <laughs> I didn't plan for it. So quite a few things has come up and we're gonna, we're gonna tap into that, you guys. But first things first, um, I'm going to, I didn't, I didn't even write the dates. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop some numbers because life has gotten crazy. So I went to Aldi's and this is in my food category and then I ended up spending $77 and 54 cents. Now <clears throat> this was a part of my first paycheck and this is uh, my boyfriend and I splitting household food. So that was not bad. Okay. Um, I want to see what host did I do? Okay, so that's that's it. That's it for um everything I've done. Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this one. So me and my boo, we had a you know four year anniversary, super fun. Um, I got him a couple gifts, and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and write those down and track what I spent. So even though I save money for stuff, I always uh, charge my credit card. Just because, like, it's a to Amex credit card, I get so many benefits with the credit card. So it's like, well, why not charge the credit card and then pay it back? Now, from time to time, I rack up the card. I'm not gonna lie, because I get a little card happy. <laughs> but here we are. Okay, so now we're about to get. Oh, I have these um, highlighters. Love these. They're sharpie, obviously. Four colors, cute, whatever. So. So now we're about to get into the trip. Now I had to fly, but I didn't pay for my flight because I used my Sky Miles that I had already. So there's a win for one. For two, also what I did was I flew to my mom's house and my mom and I drove to my appointment, which was in two different states. So I have to give you that context. <laughs> so that way you can understand when I put the gas and all of that. All right, so first things first, I had a hotel stay and we're gonna categorize this as the trip. And it cost me um, $138.21. Now, 
American Express has a deal with Hilton and I'm I'm supposed to be calling them because I would like to get my little 40 50 dollars that I'm supposed to be getting off and I have yet to see it so a meeting in American Express will be talking soon so boom there's that then um okay so Starbucks you know how you like refill your card up or whatever that was done twice so we're putting twenty dollars even a lot um another thing okay so we went, i went out to eat with some family members and i paid for everyone um and that was a little pretty penny honey that ended up being 124 dollars and 30 cents I will say, I'm not saying I'm a millionaire or I make a whole bunch of money, y'all, or anything like that. But I will say sometimes, like, when you make a little bit more money than other people, like, maybe in your family or something, or you know how to budget your money a little better, it's like... And I say that. <laughs> You're like, what? It's just like, um, especially, like, with my mom or whatever. And she knows that I budget my money or I'm a little bit more frugal with my money I'm conscious of where it goes so she's like oh you have it and I'm like great she thinks I have it and I'm not saying I don't have any money but it doesn't mean it's open to spend all the time if you get what I'm saying so this was the gas to South Carolina this right here is for the trip um and my mom has a SUV even though I thought it did pretty good on the gas I don't know if you guys know this but Georgia um the voted in governor which is the same governor uh he took off the state taxes on their gas so i was like why are you guys gas under three dollars i'm kind of i'm confused because like louisiana needs to do better but he took the state taxes off right during the elections it was quite smart of him so it wasn't bad so the gas that's South Carolina from georgia ended up being 42 dollars and 72 cents um so when i went to my actual dentist they have um, they have this toothpaste that I use and I purchased from them. So that ended up costing me $14. The actual visit was free because they were fixing something. So there was that. Um, we also went out to eat again for lunch because we were there for two days. No, this is not, <clears throat> this is a different out to eat. This is once I got to Georgia. But then this was in South Carolina, my mother and I. And this was, um, $55.50. Although it was my mother and I, my um, grandmother asked us to bring something back. So we got three meals with that. Keep that in mind. I know you're like, that's a lot of money because you're not lying. Um, and then this was Din Din. <laughs> uh, and this truly was my mother and I. Now, listen, this place, I love this place. Um, it's called Kava. It's a Mediterranean, whatever. It's like the Mediterranean version of Chipotle. Love it. Don't have one in New Orleans. But we went to one in South Carolina. And cop is expensive. But you guys, this guy was flirting with me. And he told me, don't. I said, hey, I want to, you know, pay for my mother and I. <laughs> and I saw $50 on the screen. I'm like, no, no, no. It's the two of us. And he's like, listen, don't. What he say? Don't block your blessings. I said, oh, sir, you don't got to tell me twice. So I ended up paying only $15.00. And 45 cents because I was not knocking my blessings okay she wasn't doing it um what else uh okay and then road food on the food on the food on the road with food my mom wanted chick-fil-a if you know me I don't eat chicken so I only had french fries so basically we had like a meal she had the chicken I had the fries and she had a drink so that only cost me seven dollars and eighty six cents also, while I was in town, I was like, might as well go to my chiropractor. And I did that because I don't have a single doctor down here, which is not smart. So I went to my chiropractor and that cost me the copay of $12. So all of this right here is the trip. Um, and then we're going to get back to my regular scheduled program. So I'm going to do maybe like the trip in this color yeah so it's not a lot of transactions but as you can see these i did not budget for so it's is push i see um
so when I go over my budget or there's something I didn't budget for, which this is a lot of money, I usually take it from my sinking funds which is why I haven't also like did too much cash stuffing on this paycheck because I kind of had a feeling it was going to be crazy. To be honest, <clears throat> I should have budgeted better, but this is why we live, we learn, we figure it out. I actually have to go back to South Carolina. I told you guys that because of my orthodontist. So I'm trying to do better in life. So rack up this credit card debt and then I'm going to end up paying it back, but it's going to be from the cash in my account that I didn't take out for my sinking funds. So keep that in mind. So this is just regular life up here though. The $77 for food, which is budgeted out. Gift for my boo. I only budgeted and gave him like $60, $70. So I think I'm over actually. But we're gonna reconcile it, you guys. We reconcile. So I went and got something for the house. I actually have no idea what it was, but I know I went to CVS. I can't remember off the top of my head. So that ended up costing I just saw the numbers. Where was it? Oh, it was there. Okay. So that was $21.88. Then I got gas for my car. Gas. I was on the gas. I rarely get gas. TVH, because my boyfriend usually fills me up and I don't go too many places. But that ended up costing me $25.69. So then I went to Walgreens and I got detergent, y'all. So we're going to put it in household. But it was detergent. So I don't know if you guys have the Walgreens app, but it's everything, okay? I ended up getting six little um, Arm & Hammer liquid detergents, okay? Six of them, because they were $1.99. I paid $13.07, y'all. Tell me that's not a deal. Tell me that's not a deal nor steal, okay? Because keep in mind, it's two of us in this household. So like, we wear night clothes, work clothes, and gym clothes every day. There's three sets of clothes per two people. There's six clothing items, okay? Not even talking about the towels that we wash, the sheets that we wash. Like, it gets ridiculous when it comes to clothes. And I feel like we use a lot of detergent. So, those six detergents, and they weren't the big, big ones either. That was $1.99. They were like the 30 ounces that maybe do 20-something loads or 30 loads. But listen, when do you get it for $1.99? So, I, took, I recommend you guys go on that Walgreens app check it out because they be having some steals okay so then um also there was a sam's club visit sam's club and i'm i guess i'm gonna put this under food as well and for sam's club food it ended up being 34 dollars and 80 so i have like i said i've lost my mind when it comes to racking up my credit card debt, um, I am in the thousands. Mind you guys, <clears throat> at the end of September, I went and got my car registered and ooh, I spent $50 also. So let's put that on here. I ended up spending um, $50 for another car registration thing that I had to do here in New Orleans. I'm gonna put the uh, car registration put that under car so y'all even though this is not on my credit card though so i'm gonna put that in yellow because it's not on my credit card i was trying to just show you guys what was on my credit card but here we are not on my credit card no cc and i think <laughs> look at me sucking at life because i think i put oh i put no credit card for thanksgiving okay I'm gonna say no credit card use. I'm gonna say, look at me doing a hot mess. Okay, $77.54 plus $37.07 plus $48.47 plus $138.21 um, plus $20.00. Why did I do that? I don't know. Plus $124.03. Plus 42.72 plus 14 plus 55.50 plus 15.45 um, plus 7.86 plus $25 plus 21.88 plus 25.69 
plus 13.07 plus $34.87 and then plus $50. So the $751.36, I already had a few hundred on there again from September when I registered my car. In the state of Louisiana, it cost me about a thousand dollars and only had like seven of the thousand. So there's that. Here is where we are. This this is the truth. Also, I do want to comment on the whole going out to eat and stuff like that and paying for people. Um, I do feel like we should one enjoy the fr fruits of our labor, right? We work hard for money. I don't think we should go overboard. But two, it's like I also believe we should enjoy our family members and our friends and those that are closest to us. I've had a lot of deaths going on, not you know, recent or a lot of illnesses of people that I know, family members, people that are close. And I just want to say, I do not. I don't have a, this type of relationship with money. I keep it open, you know, that way so money can go out and money can come in. I give, I receive. I don't give to receive, but I give and I receive and it's just life. So I'm not mad. Um, and usually when I ended up when I end up paying for stuff or paying, going out to eat, I offer. Is it kind of dumb for me to offer and not have budgeted it? Yes, but do I know that I can reconcile my budget? I can't. So I say that <laughs> To say you will be seeing quite a bit of money going to my credit card debt um, for the next paycheck. Also, those sinking funds that I did not um, uh, cash stuff for, we will be seeing that going towards my credit card debt. Oh, that's November's budget, the first budget. Um, so, yes, it's gonna be great to you guys. It's gonna, oh no, this is the first budget. Okay, so here, let me see what I didn't stuff. Well, all of the cash, obviously, but I'm definitely going to be doing the his and hers. That'll be good stuff. And maybe the $1, maybe the 52 week, but probably not. I'm just going to do the 200 for sure, for sure. And then, um, yeah, everything else has gone, paid bills and stuff like that. So that $100 under bills definitely has gone to the car insurance. And then, and that's a sinking fund. I'm saying it because it's a sinking fund. But car insurance has to be paid this month for the next three months. So that's going. And then that 200 is going. And then um, this, even though it's food, it's still going to my credit card. So that'll be going to the credit card. That already went to the credit card. The rest of this is probably going to the credit card. That's going to my emergency fund. To be honest, I don't even think I put the $50 towards my IRA and my investment. And I'm probably not going to do it. So reconciling my credit card. And this is, this is life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or not. Um, see what to do, what not to do. <laughs> this is life, especially during holiday season when you get around family. These are the things that come up. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.